Okay, so this video is going to demonstrate how to find uh, appropriate values in the T distribution table. So this is from Appendix B of your textbook. So when you get those problems that say use Appendix B from your book to help solve this problem, you're going to go to something like this. Now when you go to Appendix B, it's going to start with the Z, right, the standard normal distribution table. So you have that. If you scroll down, you see the T, which starts on page 633. So we're going to talk about using this T table right now. Now remember, we talked about the idea of whether or not you're using one or two tailed hypotheses, right? So here you have a one tail or a two tailed test, and you see that you have proportions for one tail and proportions for two tail. And you see that the one tail values are half of the two tail here to have the equivalent T value. So in this table, these values are going to correspond to P or alpha values. So if someone told me that I needed to find the critical value, right, of T for an alpha value of a two-tailed test of 0 0.05, I'm going to find the two-tailed value at alpha 0 0.05 right here, okay? And then I need to know what my degrees of freedom for that test would be to find its critical value. So if I'm doing a two-tailed test and I had 25 people uh, and it's a one sample test, then I have 25 minus one degrees of freedom, so 24 degrees of freedom. So alpha 0 0.05, two-tailed test, I need to find 24 degrees of freedom and I need to find the value that corresponds to 0 0.05 two-tail and 24 degrees of freedom. So you see here, it would be 2.064. That is my critical T value. Similarly, if I needed to do something like you'd have to do on problem 12, which is locate the degrees of freedom for a particular alpha value and, and critical T value, you would just work in reverse. So if it said you needed to find alpha value 0 0.05 two-tailed test, so we know we're in this column, right, two tails, 0 0.05, and your critical value is 2.571. Then I would go down this column until I find 2.571. Notice these values are going to get smaller because if you have more degrees of freedom, these values are going to converge on Z, right? So your values are going to always be in descending order from top to bottom. So it should be easy to kind of locate the appropriate value. So here, 0 0.05, 2.571 is my critical value. That corresponds to 5 degrees of freedom. So you can find any of those values in this table that you might need um, once you know at least the other two. So if you know degrees of freedom and your critical value, you can find your alpha. If you know your alpha and your degrees of freedom, you can find your critical value. If you know your alpha and your critical value, you can find your degrees of freedom just by lining up and finding the appropriate cell that matches for the row and column values. So that should help you being able to locate uh, critical values inside of the T distribution table in Appendix B of your textbook.